So if we try and make a solution from a solid, from a primary standard, um, we can do that by calculating the number of moles that we need. So if we know the concentration, so let's say we want to make a 0.2 molar solution of sodium chloride, which is a primary standard. You can get it pure, um, and it's a known formula. And we want to make 100 milliliters of that solution. So we start off by calculating how many moles that is. So remember that uh, molarity is moles per liter. So if we're doing unit analysis, it'll tell us that if we multiply molarity by the volume in liters, so this is 0.1 liter, then we end up with 2 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of sodium chloride. Now if you multiply that by the formula weight or the molar mass, um, which is the same thing, uh, of sodium chloride, we end up with a mass of 0.1169 grams. So what you do in this case is get a 100 mil volumetric flask, uh, put a little bit of water in the bottom, add 0.1169 grams of sodium chloride, dissolve it, and then make that up to the, uh, to the line of the volumetric. Uh, something that's probably more common is to make a um, dilute solution for a more concentrated one. So let's say we want to make uh, 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, and we're starting off with something which is 6 molar hydrochloric acid. And we want to make, um, let's say we want to make 50 milliliters. Okay. In this case, you could do the same thing. You could do molarity times volume of the final solution to get moles, and then um, figure out the volume that of the six molar you would need to get that many moles. Or um, more commonly, we just think of a sim this simple equation: C1B1 equals C2V2, where C is concentration, B is volume. The advantage of this equation is that as long as you're consistent, you can use whatever units you like for concentration or for volume one of the starting conditions and two is the final or the diluted solution. So we want to know what volume of the six molar do we need to get to this 0.1 molar. So we can just rearrange for V1. Uh, so it will be C2 V2 over C1. And C2 is our final concentration, so 0.1 molar. V2 is our volume, and we can leave that in milliliters. It will give us an answer in milliliters, and C1 is our initial concentration. I'm keeping everything to three sig figs just to make it simple. Um, we do that calculation. So I'm just trying to do it quickly. 0.1 times 50 will be 5, so it's 5 divided by 6. And that gives us um, 0.833 milliliters. Okay, so what this tells us is again we use volumetric, which we always use volumetrics when we can for making dilutions. Take 50 mil volumetric, point, point, put 0.833 uh, milliliters of 6 molar. Well, first of all, put a little water in it. We always add it to water. Put 0.833 milliliters of the 6 molar hydrochloric into it and then fill that up to the line with water. 